All right, all of you amazing people, another video is here, and this time we're covering Sub-Zero Zenith. That's right. So, this is one that was requested, and this is one I really find fun to use, especially if you are playing with a team. If someone can rock Sub-Zero Zenith, and, and other people can, you know, have their damage build, you can destroy many bosses and miss monsters, smashers, whatever, so easy. So let's jump into this build, kind of explain it, how I have it set up, what I like to use, show you some gameplay, and hopefully it'll help you out. All right, so looking at this loadout, we obviously have Sub-Zero Zenith in our commander spot. His ability causes sniper critical hits to freeze enemies for 1.6 seconds and apply water affliction, which will deal 21 base damage uh, of water damage per second for three seconds long. So, break it down into layman's terms, freeze enemies for 1.6 seconds and deal water affliction damage for three seconds. It's a great ability. I really do enjoy it. I don't use it often. However, I will tell you, if you are wanting a great support uh, perk and a support loadout to focus on damage, Sub-Zero Zenith is that. It is a great ability because you can freeze miss monsters, you can freeze smashers, you're doing extra, you know, damage with the water, especially right now on fire elements. It's water-based damage is going to really, you know, be good against these fire elements, so it is a good build. Moving on to the team perk, though, I like to use Totally Rockin' Out. I know there are some people that don't. But if I'm going to have these guys frozen doing damage, I'm also going to want to try to do some damage as well. So uh, I like using Totally Rockin' Out. You can use Blast from the Past if you want to have some more health. Maybe make some other changes. But I really, really enjoy uh, using Blast from the Past. I wouldn't suggest something like Happy Holidays, especially now with the Teddy nerf, um, where Teddy like has to rotate towards his enemies before firing because the rotation's really long. It, it's not so bad in higher level missions because Teddy, when he locks onto a target, stays locked. But if you were running, you know, uh, I think it's like Jilly Teacup, don't quote me on that, but where it retargets every time, it, it's completely just botched that and messed it all up. So totally rocking out is the way I go. Um, to activate Totally Rockin' Out, and what I would suggest using anyway, would be Battle Beat. Um, Breakbeat Wildcat for her Battle Beat, so eliminating 10 enemies in 9 seconds grants Rock and Rift, which is going to increase our damage by 50%. The melee speed doesn't matter, but the in damage by 50% does. Um, same thing here with Varsity Hero, his fumble. Enemies have a chance to drop a fo football. You can run over the football, and it automatically starts your Rock and Rift. Uh, Stoneheart Farah, I like to use for the 20% damage to three nearby targets. Um, also, I will say that doing this also will can cause critical hits to enemies and freeze extra enemies. So hopefully in the gameplay, we'll get that to happen a couple of times, and I'll try to point that out. Um, but you can freeze multiple enemies um, with those critical hits. So that's a nice one to run with as well. Then, of course, Rabbit Raider Jonesy for his sniper critical damage, 75%. And then Redline Ramirez for her uh, increased sniper damage by 17%. Remember, uh, snipers or bows are also considered snipers in the game. So there's that. That's why we're running those. And then I've got Adrenaline Rush on. I'm using Banner for the sole purpose of trying to make my videos a little easier and you know be able to stay in the same area so if i die i respawn in that same area so that's why we're running that otherwise i'd probably run something like um you know hover turrets or something so let's jump into some gameplay and see what we can find all right so here we are on a uh, 160 uh, ride the lightning uh, so we're gonna do some damage here. I know that this is fire, um, but I am going to use a vacuum tubo. Actually, let me swap that. Um, we'll go ahead and craft a xenon bow and rock this xenon bow. It's got reload, speed, fire rate, crit damage, crit rating, and we'll use that. I typically would use the um, 
use the uh, vacuum tube bow in missions, but because I've done all my other videos with uh, Xenon bow, I'm going to use that. Um, so, here we go. I took some damage on the way over here. Let's see how this goes. So, there we go. We've already frozen the blaster. Now, the good thing is, is we do have some mobility with this build because Sub-Zero Zenith is an outlander. Of course, you know, the animals have to get in. But I'm trying to show uh, you guys as well that when you shoot, that the additional arrows can cause enemies to freeze, which is nice. Um, but man, this is... It's a, it's a good build. It's definitely a great support. It does a lot of damage. I mean, it's it's well worth it. So, there you go. You see how that nurse froze right there? And then he froze after I shot them. So, yeah, multiples will freeze with this, which is... So, there you go. There's another example. We're going to shoot this nurse. Let's see what happens here. If anything else freezes. Yeah, we shot this one, and then both of those froze. So, it's, it's definitely, definitely a good, fun build to use. I'm just going to kill these nurses off, because trying to kill them with just the... <laughs> the arrows alone is just not gonna happen. So um, there's another encampment up here that I wanted to show you guys as well So we can get another one in but man, this is definitely a good build worth running by the way um, it, It's good to run um, Even solo, but it's preferred to run with a team because you can focus the um, Miss monsters the mini bosses and stuff like that and then your teammates can really just destroy so that's where it's really good. Throw your teddy, add some extra. You've got Shock Tower. In my opinion, these are the three best abilities that you can have with an Outlander anyway. So the fact that I've got my face shift, I've got the Shock Tower, and I've got a teddy is you know, really nice. And you can see I've got that mobility to get around. I'm not dying too quick. And uh, it's just really a good build. So let's finish this one off and uh, move on from this. All right, that's it. That's the Sub-Zero Zenith. Like I said, definitely a great support, a really good uh, loadout to use. The way I have it set up here is if I were to run it, that's how I would run it. Um, but I'm curious to see what you all think. Do you have some other options, some other things that might be good to add to this? Be sure to comment that down below. Uh, I'm definitely not a know-it-all. I don't pretend to know it all. I make these videos as a way to try to help and be a base starter level for people to, you know, have some sort of idea on what they can do with heroes that they may have um, or how I would play if you already have all these heroes. So this is just a way to get some information out there, but I love hearing your feedback and comments as to things that you might do a little bit different when it comes to these loadouts. I hope you enjoyed the video. As always, be sure to uh, check out our Discord. Link is down in the description as well as check us out on Twitch. I stream every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Right now, I'm only streaming for a couple of hours um, because I'm spending time making content here on YouTube, making content on TikTok, um, link trees down below to all of my links. And um, I hope to get back to streaming more often. Uh, but for now, I've got to focus on getting content out. And I work a full-time job and have a family, so I can't, I can't just, uh, you know, make content all the time and stream eight hours a day. It's not possible. So I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this. I'll stop ranting on, and hopefully we'll catch you in our next video.